Hello everyone, welcome to the Economic Week Ahead brought to you by Business Day in partnership with The Movement Studio. My name is Enyola Olatinji and with me is... Wasiu Ali. This week we have very, very interesting, exciting news for yeah. you. And starting today, the Monetary Policy Committee led by Olaya Mikadrosu will be holding today and tomorrow. Tomorrow is when the rate will be decided. Wasiu, what are your projections for the NPR meeting tomorrow, NPC meeting tomorrow? Well, well, for many analysts have projected 100 basis points. Are you going with that projection? Well, you know, uh, I'm not an analyst. <laughs> well, you were to make a random guess, what would it be? Uh, I, would, I would say 200 basis points. I will also go even, with 200. the condition of um, the inflation and, you know, the recent downturn of the Naira. So I yes. think the, the CBN would have to increase rates by 200 basis points 200 basis points yeah. is a lot and that would take us to about currently the mpr is at 24.75 percent 200 up from 18.75 percent last, last year in july so in total olaya mikadosu and the mp team have increased their interest rate by 600 basis points in total yeah. he did a, f- a first 400 basis points then yeah, another really 200 basis points march. in march yeah. and we saw we saw how that rubbed off on the naira we naira, saw naira gained naira gained it became the w- best performing currency in the but world unfortunately it could not hold it couldn't hold it, it became. <laughs> and of course it slipped yeah so now we've we've also good. seen how this has dropped off on inflation because inflation is beginning to increase at a decelerating rate mm-hmm. to make it simple Month on month, inflation is beginning to decrease. In March, um, for month on month, in um, April, inflation was lower than what it was in March. Although fact, year on year, it yeah. was still high. But we are beginning to see the rate hikes rub off on inflation. In fact, many, many, many analysts had predicted that inflation would, you know, come out as 35%. Yes, and it was just 33.69 yeah, from 32 So... That, that, that tells that tells that um, the the, the MPC would have to, to you know do more. Just do more. They just yeah. need to continue pushing so that we don't relax and then yeah. inflation does I something on us. Yeah, away right. from that. Yeah, the the National Bureau of Statistics will, will be releasing the average pi- price of diesel today as well. Yeah. Um, diesel, you know, um, the the price of diesel dropped. Last month, Dangote did Dangote or something did some sort of wonder, some sort of miracle, and you know, the price dropped. And of course, we are hoping many analysts pulled by business they expect that the a further decline the, yeah, that in the diesel price prices crashed to about 900 per liter. I think everybody's going to change their engine to a diesel engine yeah. now because, so, like, <laughs> if, if this is becoming cheaper, and like, of course, you know, um, he also said during the African CEO forum held at um, Rwanda, Kigali that from June, Nigeria will, will stop the importation of fuel, meaning that there will be enough fuel for us in Nigeria. Stop the importation of fuel if he starts his refinery. Starts oh, that would be great, great news. So that would be that great news. Petrol, would, petrol prices will equally crash. At least we can stop queuing. Now, and of course, when petrol prices sees a crash, it has a ripple effect on a lot on, of other things, market, transport, everything, food everything. prices. So, the transportation hike would we, we then now know what is wrong mm. after the, the petrol prices <laughs> have crashed. What is the problem? <laughs> why, why is pre- why why are pre- why is the transport still high? I, I thought petrol prices had gone so down. Let's, let's let's look out look for, out for that, data. that data. MBS um, will also be releasing another data. Yeah, MBS will be releasing the um, selected, selected food, food prices. prices. Uh, you know, so uh, this this last month. Food inflation rose to about 40%. Over 40%. 40 percent. Like, percent. it is alarming. This, this, Food inflation is alarming. Uh-huh now, this, this is putting a strain on people's pockets. I tried buying Gary over the weekend, and a paint is over 3,000 naira. That's to tell you that Gary <laughs> has a four month food again. What is now cheap? <laughs> Nothing. No food is cheap. You know, gone are the days when Gary used to be the go to food. You know, the. The food for the masses. There is no good to food but anymore. Now gary is now expensive. And it's, it's alarming. Aside from gary, rice, flour, flour bread, bread, cereals, cereals, tuba, things. yam tubas. Many people don't even go for cereals again, you know. <laughs> so we we just hope that a, a, a rebound will be seen in this area. They need to fix um insecurity and, in and the Some north. of the things, yes, of course, insecurity. Some of the things that have made food prices skyrocket is um um 
low productivity in the agricultural sector. Very low. Like how can people can go to the farms? They are scared to go to the farms. If they go to the farm, they might get killed or Banditry something. Banditry and all of that in the north. And majority of our staples come from this area. So if if the if the area is prone to attacks, ditches, yeah, there will be problem with our food production. So okay, um, well, away from You're that, from Nigeria um, also. Egypt. Yes, Egypt. Egypt is one African country that that's not, <laughs> not African country. <laughs> no. It's enjoying currently, enjoying a lot. It saw it's um the inflation figure in Egypt dropped to 32.5%. Thirty, that degree, is that is remarkable. Yeah, so because even the UK, the US, Nigeria has been battling with constant record and inflation yeah. and they're telling me that Egypt here is so well, um, for some reasons, Egypt, Egypt um, floated its currency. Oh, the like we did. <laughs> the, Egypt, the Egyptian pound. And of course, it made sure that it didn't make the mistake that Nigeria made mm. by not um, mopping up the liquidity as an NG. Did this, got a bailout phone from IMF. Damn. Yeah. And of course, even from um, UAE. So there are, there are quite a number of interventions, monetary, monetary uh, policy, and fiscal, fiscal policy policies. Yeah, exactly. That. that is what we, we are lacking. Yeah. So it's so, just our monetary side that, that are pushing. That are pushing for. For. So, so um, MPC, the Egypt Central Bank um, will be holding its MPC this week, MPC meeting this week. And we, we expect that since inflation is cooling, in the North African um, country, country that the, the old rate. rate yes, that would just make sense. That would that would be like a preventive measure yeah. against further heightening. And this week also on Thursday, the FCMB the, and UBA will be holding its annual general meeting where it will be discussing with shareholders some of its plans for the year, which includes how to raise capital and the means it would raise this capital. The CBN. CBN had mandated all banks, banks two months ago capital. to raise capital by 500 billion. That's for international. For international, and UBA happens to be an international bank, um, and FCMB is also supposed to raise up to about 200 billion naira. So yeah. they will be discussing with their stakeholders, their shareholders rather, on how they raise this capital and for other things like the um, appointment of directors and also um, what their final um, shares give dividends will be. So. You can also join. You can join this meeting on their YouTube platforms, and you can follow this discussion on Thursday for both banks. If you are shareholders of these banks, and over to our very dear Naira, our Naira did us proud last week. Yeah, like it was listening to my prayers because I was praying that the Naira would. For some some of us, some some people, well, well, I'm not part of them. So <laughs> some people had predicted that Naira will uh, go as high as one thousand six hundred. Ah, please do, please. You know, they um, should be careful. Yeah. So, but we we were happy that it it appreciated and it's betting ah, against. It did though. It was like. Ah. So well, um, many people are you know expecting that oh Naira will also come down this week for yes, it will. Session on Tuesday. Yes. Then. So we was last March. I mean, for March. Same rather, thing happened in March happened when there was an act. The NPC meeting. The Naira came to as low as one thousand one, one thousand mm-hmm. Naira. Even in some places now. Like, so, but, yeah. But let's see. Let's see what will happen this week. Do you, do you do you see the naira coming down? Me, I do. At least this week, we should see the naira coming down, not as low as one thousand naira. <laughs> it's <laughs> as one five now. So maybe one four, one three, because once the MPC, like we um, projected earlier, they increase the NPR rates by a hundred basis points, there will be a treasury bill auction on Wednesday too. So. When once there's that auction, we might we will get F- FPIs. Yeah, there so will be dollar will inflows. Our security will be attractive. Mm-hmm. Then we get dollar inflows. Then this will boost the, the naira. At least for the, the meantime. But yes, the naira should do very well this week. So let's let's pick it at maybe thousand four hundred. Eight thousand three to thousand four hundred. Also, we we hope that the naira makes us proud, and <laughs> that will just all be it. That will be for it for today. this week. For this week. Um, for more. For more uh, information, you can log into our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our social media platform at businessday.ng. Thank you for watching. My name still remains Wasiwali. And I am Eniola Olatiji. We hope to see you next week. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.